SPIE presents the Advancing the Laser series, honoring 50 years of laser achievements. I'm going to show it to you tomorrow as part, so I don't have to take it apart now. And uh, I'm charging up the capacitor of exactly right in that poster. And what you will see is you'll see a big white flash, and this is from the flash lamp, and in the middle a sharp red dot. Now, I know it's fast, but you know you missed it. Some of you missed it. I'll do it a couple of times. So I'll explain again what you're going to see. The flash lamp fires off and just shoots a white blare like a camera. In the middle of this white blare, there is a red dot. The red dot is the laser which stays collimated. So let me just look myself how visible it is. <coughs> Yeah. Okay, that's yeah. it. You saw the first laser, and I have to tell you, it's very exciting knowing that I am the first person to use it after Ted. Because until a few years ago, the only person who used it was Ted, and he actually was quite tricky how he made it work, because it took me a lot longer <laughs> to, just to, to fire it correctly. And it's a very, very strange feeling to be the first person using it after Ted. I only had this feeling once in my life where I, when I repaired an instrument which belonged to Galileo. <laughs> Before. So, should I fire it one more time, Andrew? Fire it one more time? Okay, for, the, for those who still may stay. What voltage are you using? I'm using 1200 volt instead of 950 because I want you to see a nice spot. Because the laser action started at 9.50, but if you look at Ted's note, he really got very good laser action about 1300. So at 1200 volt, you get a very clear spot. Now, you don't need any proof it's a laser. Because if it wasn't a laser, this red dot will spread out, just like the flash lamp. Because if it's a non-laser, it's not collimated. And only a laser will be diffraction limited or nearly diffraction limited and stay collimated. So the fact that the non-coherent source fills up the whole screen with white light and in the middle of the white light screen there is a red dot tells you that there's something different about this red light. It doesn't spread. So, of course, Ted verified it with a monochromator. He was looking for 694 nanometer output. But even without a monochromator, you see right away there's something different about that dot. That's the first laser. Thank you very much.